Yeah. Yo guys, we're here for another video. Today, well, you know what I did last last video? I did that glitch. But we're gonna be doing it again because I thought of something. But I just want to watch this. There's Deadpool. You bully! Bye, Ripley! This guy's my favourite. I love this one. Stop it, dude! That's what we got! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Okay, he's a ball. He's a ball. Welcome to the okay, agency. Cool. You come high. Who cares where I come? Because I want to play creative. And let's play. Right, let's go. I'm a switch. Right, guys. This might be a long, a very short, actually. If you... On the channel, showcasing the best of the best. One of the most notable additions with the new update is the all-new special limited time mode, which is called the Spy Games LTN. It's a really neat mode because you can do things like choose your perks, play with recently unvaulted items, and complete some new challenges. All in all, not a bad update in this latest. As for the smaller changes this time, the grappler and remote explosives have both been nerfed, which is a great and much needed change. The C4s now have a longer delay between pressing the button and them exploding, and the grappler also has a little delay. Overall, the actual additions with this update have been pretty great. There's no real complaints, and we need to play around with the helicopters a bit more to see exactly how they affect the meta, but for now, it's looking pretty good. I'm just interested to see some insane trick shots and competitive plays using the new vehicle. It's gonna be entertaining, that's for sure. But moving on, let's dive into some things 99% of you actually won't know about. So here's some little sneak peeks into what is coming to Fortnite in the next few weeks. Leaks! Did, did somebody say leaks? There are a ton of upcoming items. This relaxation lover is buying a used car online from Kazoo. Comes delivered to his door. Item shop skins, which have been leaked by data miners, and they are some of the coolest looking skins we've seen all season. Starting off, we have the bonehead skin, and this dude is pretty intimidating. A closer look at the face, and the guy has a really dope neon mask on. Falling up, we have the Taylor skin, but this guy's already been in the item shop with some awesome variants. Next up is the mask. Oh, that was when I did so. Let's say one. A We've 
also seen a little change to the chug splashes in the files, as well as the shield bubble, so expect these two to be unvaulted in the coming weeks. As for the final leak, it's a small one, but some kind of LTM called Moxlight has been spotted in the files. That sounds really interesting, and actually kind of funny if we're all just running around wearing cardboard boxes. Map changes. This new update has given us so many map changes that actually might have storyline ties, so let's get exploring on the island and dive in to what's new. To start off, Midas Gold Chair has been moved, and now you can find it in a canoe near the Agency building. This chair was where he would sit at meetings, which you can see in the Battle Pass trailer, but it's not there in the game, and of course you can spot this thing in some red boat. Why is it there? Who has been trying to steal the chair? Maybe this is all related to the storyline? All good questions, but really, who knows? We do know that something called Midas Revenge is going to be happening soon, though. Maybe someone stealing his chair has something to do with it? Only time will tell. As for the change to a little Easter egg, do you guys remember that little reference to Ferris Bueller? From that scene in the film where they push a Ferrari through the window? Well, you can find an Easter egg to the movie in Fortnite. However, recently a crane had driven to the area and magnetically pulled the Ferrari back up the cliff. But with the new update, that area has changed once again. Now, if you head there, you'll see that the crane is not lifting the car anymore. In fact, it may or may not have fallen down the cliff, too. Taking a second look, and yeah, it's definitely down there now. Looks like we'll need another crane to pick up this crane. Is this gonna be one of the Chapter 2's running gags? Oh, um, who knows? In other map change news, if you know about the secret bunker underneath Pleasant Park, you'd know that the only way to get there before the recent update was through porta potties or some dumpsters. But now, the soccer field has actually opened up and revealed the secret base below. It's a pretty big map change. Oh my god, my arm's killing me. journey as they explored the island for months. Now, we have something pretty similar with what fans are called the Pipe Man. Turns out, the Pipe Man is actually moving around the map now, as you can spot him walking up the cliff with a stick. I wonder where he's going. Comment where he's going down below. Now, for the biggest map change of the entire update, it's over at the Rig, one of the new POIs for Season 2. The location has been completely redone because of a large explosion caused by TNT. If you go to after the latest patch, you'll spot that the area has been taken over by Team Shadow, and there's a huge hole in the POI. Who knows what this means for the storyline, but we'll keep an eye on other agency locations from now on, just in case Shadow or goes and fights some more or try to do anything funny. I wonder what went down at the rig. Did Ghost pin up a fight, or did they just let Shadow have it? Whatever it is. The loading screen will tell us. And our last map change can be found on the yacht. We showed you the leak in the obstacles intro. It's this room which has a few changes. Inside. Going into the bathroom through the cat flap shows you a small room with a kitty litter tray inside, a fish carpet, and a big ball of yarn. Now I dread to think of the horrors that go on in that litter tray, but my favorite part of this room is the dark board with Doggo on it. It's definitely one of my favorite rivalries we've had between two Fortnite skins, but I just can't stop thinking of Meowsicles using that kitty litter. Thank you guys so much for watching our video on all the new secrets from the update. If you enjoyed, click the like button and check out <gasps> oh! Oh guys, we got through, we got through, it's one person. One person, always be the first person. Always be the first person. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's find it. Okay, this, okay, now we know, now we know. Let's go, let's see if I can find my way in. Oh my God, I'm so hyped. I'm actually hyped. I'm actually, actually hyped. I've never got through, if I, Know who the best Fortnite player in the world is? Wrong. I do. You know why? I talked to some of the best Fortnite pro players in the world, including Bizzle, Unknown Army, Shaw, Saf, and Tifo's Duo Scoped, who, if you didn't know, is also my little brother, to help me rank the best Fortnite pros from every season. We just hit 2.9 million subscribers, guys. Only 0.1 subscribers. No, there's my island. Million. Can someone please just make point one of a YouTube account already and subscribe? Considering 80% of you watching aren't subscribed, yeah, get exposed, fake gamers. <laughs> okay, moving on. I want to mention that the criteria we used to rank these pros were placement in tournaments and cups, participation in events, and taking a look at some of the nastiest plays ever pulled off in Fortnite Competitive. Let's begin. Season 2, Myth. Heading all the way back to Season 2, the point where Fortnite was just beginning to enter the mainstream, who was the pro player on top of everyone else? The one and only TSM Myth. 
That's right. Before all the streamers you see nowadays at the top of Twitch, back in Season 2, it was Ali Mythkabani who stood in first place. Back in these early days, Myth played with the streamers who were just getting into Fortnite like Summit and was considered the number one pro player in the world at the time. There were so many people... So this, I think, is the closest the game, you can get. And that you can not get back. Today. One of his earlier plays that went viral was when Myth clutched up a 1 HP fight against another player. Are you kidding me? God, look at the builds. This just brings back so much nostalgia. Back then in season two, these were considered to be insane clips, and Myth rose to the top during this time. Just to show you what a really intense build fight looked like back then, check this out. Right, I, 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 guys, I think this is the furthest you can go. Well, I'm going to travel back to Hub. Yeah, guys, and that is, I travelled 2,376 metres. That's so good. Well, guys, we'll see you next.